did you get an Instant Pot for Christmas or you've had one but are still a little intimidated, I am gonna share my five must know tips for beginners to really dive into knowing your Instant Pot. My name is Vanessa and today I really just wanted to go over the Instant Pot. I know a lot of people were gifted it for Christmas or you've had it for just a little bit and are still kind of scared. I owned mine for three months. It sat in the box. I got it a couple years ago, Black Friday, no not Black Friday, I got it on uh, the Amazon Prime Day, that's when I got it. And it sat in the box for three months and then I made my husband use it the first time. <laughs> it's like if anything's gonna happen, it's gonna happen to you, I know, I'm horrible. But I have been using it for well over a year now and I love it, it is very, very easy. So I wanted to share just my top five. There are a lot of tips and tricks the learning is never ending with this thing, but these are the top five that I really think everybody should know before really diving into using the Instant Pot. So let's get into them. So tip number one is to understand the real cook time. So most recipes, even when I'm sharing a recipe here on the Instant Pot, I always tell you how long it takes to cook, but there's a few things that go along with that cook time. There is how long your pot takes to come to pressure. Usually it's five to 10 minutes max. Uh, just add that onto your cook time. So let's say you're cooking chicken and the cook time is for six minutes on high pressure. It has to come to pressure, so that's 10 minutes. So that's 16 minutes total time so far. And then you're gonna wanna let it release naturally to let it cook a little bit longer for another 10 minutes probably. So that's 26 minutes for your chicken total instead of just the six minutes. But still, I love this thing. Uh, a lot of recipes are cooked a lot faster in here. Typically it's meats. Now rice is one of those things that don't necessarily cook any faster. It's the same time um, adding in the coming to pressure and the release time than cooking it on your stove in a pot. But I, for one, just love that rice comes out perfect for me every single time in the Instant Pot versus on the stove. There's still times where I will cook it on the stove and it doesn't come out. Uh, not as good as in the Instant Pot. So even though the time is still the same, the Instant Pot just does a better job at it. So I wanted to make sure, tip number one is to understand that the cook time isn't the real time. The Instant Pot does have a few other times added onto that to go with the cooking time. So when you're cooking, just make sure you realize how much time you really need for all of it. Tip number two is your Instant Pot always, always, always needs liquid. Don't ever close your Instant Pot and try to cook anything in here unless it has liquid because that is what your pot needs to come to pressure. You're going to get a burn notice or it just won't work. You might mess up your pot. Um, just always, always, always it needs liquid. And depending on the size, my Instant Pot is a six quart. It's a seven in one um, and it needs one cup. So if you have a six quart, you need at least one cup of liquid for this to come to pressure. Tip number three is to really know how to use your pressure valve. And by pressure valve, this is what we are talking about. This little nozzle right here. So when you are cooking, you always want it to be on ceiling. So you just need to make sure that that is the first thing you do when you close the lid is automatically make sure that this is turned to ceiling. Otherwise, if you leave it on venting, you are wasting a whole lot of time because your pot is not going to come to pressure. All of the pressure is just going to keep releasing, releasing as the time goes on and your food is not going to cook thoroughly so make sure it is on ceiling then when your timer goes off so your instant pot is going to show the time here when it beeps it'll have an L here and it is automatically going to go to keep warm and then it'll start counting up how long it is on keep warm but that's also what a natural release is and that takes us to tip number four understanding the difference between natural release and quick release 
So like I stated, a natural release is when your timer goes off, your Instant Pot beeps, it has an L here, and then two zeros, it'll start counting up one, two, three, however long. That is a natural release. You are letting the pot release the pressure naturally. You are not touching your nozzle, you are keeping it on sealing. However, the pressure is still releasing on its own. Typically, it's about 10 minutes, and then you'll do a quick release. Most recipes, that's what it calls for. Sometimes you will do a complete natural release, and that takes about 15 almost up to 20 depending on how much is in your pot, how much pressure your pot needed to make to cook all the food thoroughly. Quick release, however, is once that bell goes off, that beep sounds and you see the L, that means your pot is done, everything is cooked, that is when you're gonna come over here and press your nozzle to sealing and all of your pressure is going to come out right here. So this is kind of where I, my setup when I'm cooking, when my, pot is cooking, I have it pushed back because this does get a little warm and I don't want my kids, I still have some younger kids and they're curious, I don't want them touching it. However, when I'm ready to release the pressure, I pull it out because I don't want the pressure going up under my cabinets. I haven't heard anybody having problems with that but I don't want to be the first. So I make sure it is in a nice open area, then I press it to venting and all of the steam releases, it just goes up in the air. There's a bunch of accessories that you can buy for your Instant Pot to make things easier. I'm gonna be sharing that in an upcoming video. And this one is definitely for beginners. Tip number five is totally focus on that manual button because it does everything. This is my manual button. I don't even think I've ever shared a recipe where I push anything else. We are gonna change that this year, but for the most part, this manual button just automatically puts your pot on high pressure, and then you can just do the up or down, the plus and minus, and however long you need the cook time to be. But all you do is press the manual, put it on the time you want, and your pot goes on and does its thing no matter what you're cooking. This manual, you're just allowed to mess with the time. These buttons, they're just preset buttons. Uh, the soup is either, it's high pressure and then it has a time. Same thing for the meat, the bean, poultry. These are all the buttons. Steam, porridge, multigrain, rice. But for just beginners, all you wanna do is just focus on manual, set your own time, it's automatically on high pressure and it's gonna cook your food up in no time. So those are my five tips that I think as a beginner using your Instant Pot, I think you should know just starting off. Um, it definitely helped me knowing those things ahead of time. Some of them I didn't know ahead of time and I wish I would have. I personally have never gotten a burn message. I know there's a lot of people out there who have, but just make sure you have at least one cup of liquid and you should not have that burn message on your pot. I have never gotten the burn message. I always make sure that was number one, that I had enough liquid. I didn't want anything going wrong wrong and I knew ahead of time that liquid is what the pot needs to come to pressure. So if you guys like these tips, if you want more, if you love your Instant Pot, can't wait to use it, you already use it and you want some recipes, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe because every single Wednesday for this year, 2019, I am going to bring an Instant Pot video. So this one, no cooking was involved, but that's not necessarily going to be the case going forward. I have a lot of yummy, easy, quick, and delicious meals that you can cook in your Instant Pot coming up this year. I'm super excited. So I will see you guys in the next one.